It is insanely impressive what the Linux kernel has been able to achieve. Started by one university student in 1991 who didn't want to pay for Minix and wanted to learn more about how his Intel 8386 worked. It should be no surprise to anyone though that after all of the people that have touched the code, after all of the years the project has been around for, that there were design choices made, there were fixes implemented at some point throughout its history that at the time were probably a good idea and were fixing an actual problem. But years later, turn out to not exactly be the best approach and introduce very subtle and niche issues that somehow nobody spots for 30 years. And that might sound like an exaggeration, but it's not really an exaggeration. It's actually kind of an understatement. So this was opened up back in June by an Alibaba engineer. Question about the ELF program header size. Hi, we had a script generate assembly code. There is going to be some English mistakes here. As I said, Alibaba engineer probably isn't super proficient at English. Anyway. Just keep that in mind. We had a script generate assembly code, built it with GCC, and the output ELF file had 78 program headers. On an ARM64 platform, if we have 64 KB base page size, the ELF can be started correctly. If we have 4 KB base page size, the ELF cannot be started and shows this error. Cannot execute binary file, exec format error. And all of this is due to this bit of code right here, the load ELF PHDRS function. Not important to the main point here, but this is peak kernel naming. I'm sure this is documented specifically what this means, and people that work in this part of the kernel probably have a good understanding of it, but the name is excessively short and doesn't tell you what it actually does. Anyway, the name is not important. What is important is what it does. This is a very simple check. So if the size is zero, it will go to out. If there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. If the size is greater than 65,536, but the important check is the third one. If the size is greater than ELF min align, what is ELF min align? Well, on ARM64, this is defined as the page size. So from the user's perspective, this creates inconsistent behavior. On the same architecture, ARM64, it's going to have a different value for 64 KB and for 4 KB. On 64, it runs just fine. But on 4, go to out is run and it fails. Now here's the problem. This is fine. There's no issue here whatsoever if it was documented, and that's the problem. So this it doesn't appear to be documented in the spec whatsoever, so nobody would know unless they run across this issue, and if you go and just remove that check, the issue goes away. And obviously, the check was there for a reason, and we'll get to that in just a bit, but... At least initially, it seems like that just fully addresses the problem. So my question is why we limit the program's header total size to the page size. Git history couldn't tell anything because the limitation was introduced when the whole Linux kernel tree was migrated to Git. Is there a possible constraint on other architectures? Thanks. Is there a reason this was implemented? Does anybody know why this check is actually here? Because if you're going to add a check, there's usually going to be, like, a reason for the check existing. Now, <laughs> here's the fun thing about it not being in the Git history and being introduced before the kernel tree was migrated. This is not just maybe a little bit before it was migrated, you know, like a 2002 or something like that. It is quite further back than that. So longtime kernel contributor Keys Cook responded to the question, firstly asking, why so many headers? <laughs> the answer here is actually that the developer doesn't know. That's just what the script does. So that's what the script does. There's probably a reason for it, but it's not important, right? Like the, it should be functioning that's the main focus. Looking through the history where you have to examine the pre-git tags 
4779B38BCB96 patch Linux-0.99.13 September 19, 1993, which says ELF binary support is a notable change. Here the page size check does not exist. When ELF interp support was added in this right here, import 0.99.15F, we see the check appear and can find no... <laughs> <laughs> rationale so it was introduced very shortly after this right here and there appears to be no explanation for why and with bin fmt elf hoist elf program header loading to a function the page size check is added for non-interp loads it seems the 64k count is sufficient if the goal was to avoid large memory allocations happening from user space we are way past page size these days being IPC, BPF, etc. Does this work for you? And this is what was done. Just remove that one check at the end. Now, whilst there was no explanation on why this was done, there is this comment here. Sanity check the number of program headers and their total size. That is the only explanation that appears to exist. The only way you could actually find out why this was done is find the person who made the patch and then try to get them to explain why they added some fix from 30 years ago. And finding the person might be pretty easy, but having them remember why they made some one-line change 30 years ago, uh... <laughs> Good luck with that one. With the basically no information we have to go off here, I think the most logical explanation is at some point 30 plus years ago, there was an issue and this was the simplest, most straightforward way to fix it. There was some sort of kernel crash happening, some sort of application crash happening, and basically this check right here was enough to deal with it at the time and nobody was really trying to do the kinds of things we're doing today so it never really became a problem and it is entirely possible that somebody else came across this issue at some point in the past thought okay that seemed weird and just like went about their day i cannot believe that this would be the first time with something that has been here for this many years and an issue that is so simple that nobody else has seen this. Now, this thread didn't really have anywhere else to go besides the fix being introduced and it didn't seem like that was going to happen. Like, the fix was here, but it like nothing was really moving. Like, is this actually going to be merged? So there was this sent up a little bit later on July 17th Bin FMT ELF removed the 4K limitation of program header size. We have assembly code generated by a script. GCC successfully compiles it. However, the kernel cannot load it on an ARM64 platform with a 4K page size. In contrast, the same ELF file loads correctly on the same platform with a 64K page size. The root cause is the Linux kernel's ELF min align limitation on the program headers of ELF files. The ELF file contains 78 program headers. The script inserts many holes when generating the assembly code. On ARM64 with a 4K page size, the ELF min align enforces a maximum of 74 program headers causing the ELF file to fail. However, with a 64k page size, the ELF middle line is relaxed to over 1184 program headers, allowing the file to run correctly. This was identified as something added in, again, 0.99.15f, a very, very long time ago. Now, the patch has been signed off by Keith Cook because kind of the person who wrote the patch initially and it makes sense for him to just sign it off. Uh, nobody else has commented on the thread though, so whether this is going to be brought into the next kernel release cycle is unclear, but assuming this doesn't break anything else, very likely. Now again, if this is an actual limitation, hey, that's fine, but it should actually be documented in the spec and that should be discussed as well. If not, it probably shouldn't be here because it's introducing a weird restriction that the only way you would know it's there is 
trying to bump your head against it and then realizing that what you're doing doesn't actually work. Now, even though for most people here, this is not something you probably ever even thought about. You probably never even thought this was a problem, even knew this was a problem, and frankly, it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, it's always fun to see these random things that have been around for way longer than you might think they are. Yes, there is a lot of people that look at the Linux kernel, but the Linux kernel is massive nowadays, and some things slip through the cracks until somebody notices, hey, this thing that I'm trying to do, it should work, but it doesn't. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Go subscribe to the channel, and if you really like the video and you want to become one of these missing people over here, check out our Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... 64, six, 69, 69, there we go.